даже не ногу в работе Ты знаешь мой век, на якому, блядь, споте Максимум шазом, сразу на споте Файтали в болоте, все дядь давай Фиксу, он на курорте Мокра ганчирка в лице на аккорде Будет разбитый лице, что видос ебанен Вася, будешь в работе Чуть-чуть горит, брат Мало не спит я А сирый злый я Hey YouTube, this is Uncle Momo's music reaction channel where I provide my views on talented artists from around the world, both established artists and non-established artists. And I promise you that you won't be disappointed whatsoever. So why don't you come and join me in discovering amazing, talented artists and bringing it to the forefront of my channel for us to view. Now, my next reaction, we are going over to Ukraine and this is Ivan Dawn and I haven't reacted to him before. There's no information about him, but this song is called Telepass featuring Osh, um, Esso, how do you pass it? E-S-S-O-H. So is that Esso? I think that's Esso. Um, Telepass it is French for pass it to you. Um, but that's all I have. I mean, he has various links um, to his um, social media platform. He's got the official website. He's got Instagram. He's got TikTok. He's got Facebook. He's got Twitter. And he's got the uh, SoundCloud as well. They have got SoundCloud as well. Um, I've gone on to his official um, page and it says something like, I've, it goes straight to another site. So I don't think he's actually... Um, created that site it's more of an advert so i need information on this particular artist there's nothing that i can actually go on so all i can do is for you guys right about now is say okay which just play find out what this person's about um but i'm intrigued i am he's got 258,000 subscribers this was released on january the 23rd with just under 200,000 um views so this looks like a trap that is um popular but popular for what generations? Like I said, I don't know until I press the play button. So, without further ado, you know what we're here for. Great vocabs and a damn good video audio music. Can you dig it? <laughs> Заряжені ноги в роботі, ти знаєш мій вік на якому, блять, споті Максимум шазом, зразу на споті, файталі в болоті Все дядь давай, фіксу, він на курорті Мокра ганчірка в лице на акорті Буде розбити лице, що відос їбане Вася, будеш в роботі Чуть-чуть горить, брат Мало не спиття Сірий і злия Така стихія Я вам закинути з'їж, не з'їж Це інше завдання чуєш Як би кожен ходив по воді Нас з тобою би і тут не було What? Викаємо заздалегідь, підходимо Гей! Ховайся в батискат Я дістану тебе й так Світ скаже не Я так само Досить песить фаберже Тут і вантеля паси Сона дроці Будеш в роботі Плявий розклад, душа не співа Тож буду читати, як автомат На тра-та-та-та, кинув донат Солодка вата, буде в хуя Ти йди сюди, чуєш біти Це не телеві, читай не пизди Гори міцні, на галичі А я поки тут, виню апахі Козачок Він і в Парижі нічо так, мову плуте Чуєш? Я Козачок Втягні восени, поки винний свіжо скошений І трішки ой-ой, але ну Всіх єбанем, ще й відос єбанем Вайс, поплаваєш поцю Зара будеш в роботі Вайс Ховайся в батискат Я дістану тебе й так Світ скаже не Я так само Я так само Досить пести фаберже Тут і вантеля паси Сона дроці Вайс, будеш в роботі You can see the reggaeton afro beat kind of vibe With a little dubstep in there and you've got some serious dance movements with a comedic value. Love it. 
So that was Ivan Dawn, Telepass, featuring Essa. So Telepass is Pass It To You. So it looks like they was in French recording that. Um, I don't know if they reside in French, but they definitely are Ukraine, um, Ukrainian. I like everything about it. I was very, very surprised, but I shouldn't really be surprised um, because from the beginning of my um, YouTube channel, when I, and when I start, started reacting to Ukrainian music, it's just so sporadic with choice genre styles of music that's coming from Ukraine. You've got everything, an abundance of everything. And it's not like it's, oh, um, you know, hip hop, but it's, oh, you know, it's, it's funny hip hop. No, it's hip hop standards. When you're hearing jazz, it's jazz standard. You know, top end jazz standard. And just like this, you're hearing this kind of reggaeton vibe, two step um, dub. Um, Afrobeat vibe, which you normally associate with the UK and France, but it's just so so be it that yes, they are in France um, because the two countries that are strong with the um, the African um, cultural base outside of Africa would be America, England, and um, France uh, in abundance, as Germany as well. Um, so you get that influence of that musical element in there, that fusion, which every country now is just doing. Now, I have realised, you know, being repped in music from around the world, that now every country is sort of like tasting everybody else's uh, music. It's like food, you know? You, go, you can be in your own country and you can chase at least five to six uh, types of food that is not associated to your country. Yeah? So it's now beginning to be like music as well. And that is absolutely brilliant that everybody's tasting a sample of everybody else's cultural um, music background. And this is a perfect example of that. Unfortunately, there wasn't English subtitles or any kind of subtitles, but it did give you a visual pleasure. And I love the way how they made these sort of things come to life. The statue, um, the money. There's certain things in there that had like, a very lovely comedic value to it. Um, and then you've got them. Uh, uh, they're really some serious entertainers because I can see that they're like the dance routines. Even though it looks simplistic, I know the technicality, the technicality towards that. Um, being that I, I'm an ex-dancer myself. Um, back in the day, way, 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 way back in the day. So I do look at different kind of things, and that um, that caught me as well. Nice little dance routines, and just going about in France. I've been in France a number of times, so I, I knew that was France. I'd be very, very surprised if that isn't France. And you t and you guys tell me, actually, Uncle Marble, that isn't France. Um, that's blah 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 in Ukraine. But I'd be like, okay, that's it. <laughs> you know what I mean, Ukraine has got all the elements. It's got snow. It's got it's got um, the beach. It's got desert. You know, you have got your mountains. It's like what what Ukraine hasn't got. You know, as in the landscape value. They've got everything there. Um, it will be. I, I know Ukraine will be the future hottest location to go to when it comes to holiday destinations. I really, really do believe that because it's got everything and everything, and the whole world has been sleeping on Ukraine when it comes to going to going on holiday. You know, it, we, put it this way, Europe or England, right, have been so stubborn in having one low de one um, tourist destination when it comes through a quick holiday. And that's always been Spain. Always been Spain. Always. As long as it's a, under a two hour journey, gosh, we're there. Now, everybody, um, people in UK are now venturing out to the likes of Montenegro and Croatia. Croatia is getting hit hard by the UK. And when the UK knows about a country, it just flops there in its hundreds of thousands, all in one season. You know, the, or it, it's, they flop, it's not like the odd, you know, 100 disco. No, they go by the thousands and drown out that area where they go. They go by the thousands, a hundred thousands, and they stay in that one area of that hundred thousand. Do you know what I mean? They don't venture out. It's like one person tells them, go there, and that's a brilliant place. And they just go there and they don't venture out. Um, but as soon as they know, I mean, the world knows about Ukraine now, but unfortunately for the wrong reasons. Right reasons is looking at their cultural values. And I'm doing my best to show you in various videos um, the landscape of Ukraine, all different kind of places where you've, and I've had some amazing messages like, what? Are you for real? That ain't Ukraine. I go, yeah. Some people tell me, where is Ukraine? Yeah, that's the point of level where certain people are in the world. Where, that's the first thing, where is Ukraine? Mad, isn't it? 
Yes, we've, I mean, England knows because we've got a hell of a lot of um, Ukrainian footballers um, and playing in the Premiership and various other um, league levels in our, in our country and it's fully supported. And um, you see the love that we have from the football players, uh, from the football players alone. Um, so, it's like, going back onto track, it's lovely that you see uh, amazing fusions that the um, Ukrainians, well, you always see fusions from the Ukrainians. You, you really will. Um, and, uh, and that's what I'm saying. Uh, it's just been non-stop fusions. Um, and now I'm going back, way, way, way back, and looking at the, like, the, um, the folk songs and, uh, um, and lullabies and carol songs. Um, and starting my, I, which I should have really done from the beginning of my uh, YouTube, um, YouTube channel. But I'm like this, <laughs> as you can see with my, with my, uh, with my YouTube channel. But look, this is an amazing song. I absolutely loved it. It had loads of visual eye candy pleasure for you to look at and laugh at and enjoy. But unfortunately, no English subtitles. But hey, it made up for so many different kind of things. And for that reason, I salute you. Boom! <laughs>